Hey guys, welcome to the show, and what we're going to be doing today is sharpening knives. Um, basically, I have here what's called a whetstone, or stone or whatever. Uh, I like to keep mine wet, because basically, you need to. <laughs> Let's just get this out here. Okay, this is a double grit diamond stone. Uh, it has a coarse side and it has a smooth side. You'll see what that's for in a second. Um, if you're going to have one of these, some people use oil, some people use water. I prefer water because it's less messy, less greasy, you know. But you soak it up, get it nice and wet. Now, let's just flip over to the table and I'll show you what to do. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is... Uh, that's a heat thing. <laughs> you want to take a nice wet face cloth. Put your stone here so it won't slide around. You are working with a knife. Now, the reason we like a nice sharp knife is very simple. A knife that's sharp is a lot safer than a knife that's dull. A dull knife you are going to need to use a lot more pressure for and you don't want that. You don't want to have to like you know because that is more likely to get you hurt. Like if let's say you're just chopping onions. Well if you have to you know really get in there and just you know saw at it like it's wood you're gonna hurt yourself. It, it's more likely the knife is gonna slip, it's gonna slide, it's gonna pop up and take your eye out it's just not safe to use a dull knife. That's why we have a knife as sharp as possible. Um, okay, so this has been soaking. The, the stone is nice and wet. Now, feel with your thumb. This is the smooth side, this is the rough side. Now, if your knife isn't that dull, that's fine. You don't have to use the rough side. But, this knife, as you can see, has a pretty significant burr for where the kids put it in the dishwasher. And it's as dull as a butter knife which is a sin because it's one of my favorite knives, okay? Now, the way you do this is you have to get like a pr pretty particular angle. If I had a matchbook, I'd show you. It's pretty much like if there was a matchbook underneath here, that would be the perfect angle, but I don't have a matchbook. You can buy special guides, but that's not what you want. You want to be able to do this by hand because Lord knows, you're going to be cooking in kitchens that don't have good knives. So it's better to actually have like the ability to make a knife sharp than having to go to the store and get lots of tools or pay somebody or whatever. Okay? Okay, as I was saying, um, you want to have the knife at a perfect angle. Uh, basically, what we do. Now, you always have the blade away from yourself as well for safety. Okay? Now, you start out here. 90 degrees, take that to about half, then about half of that. So you're left with about a centimeter between the spine of the knife and the thing. If you put your finger right here, you should have the perfect amount, depending if you have smaller little fingers. Most people's fingers are the same thickness. But right there, you see how there's about that much between the blade and the stone? Okay. Now you want to make sure your blade is nice and, I mean your stone, is nice and wet. Okay, so. trying to touch as much of the blade to as much of the stone as we can. What this is doing is this is actually sanding off pieces of steel. This is actually removing the dull blade and sharpening it. Now what I like to do is I like to... Oh, Check it out every once in a while. See, a burr is still there, but it's less now. So, this is going to take a fair bit of work to get that out. Already, it already feels. 
Now, we do have to eventually flip it back over to the other side because it's forming a burr along the side. It's like actually like pushing the metal around like this. So there's like a little lip that goes this way. So once we get this side so that the burr is gone and it's nice and smooth and straight, then we flip it over and we carve off the burr, okay? I'm gonna fast forward to that bit. Okay, and as you can see, I've done most of the structural stuff. Um, basically what I was doing is I pretty much knocked off that burr. The blade is not sharp yet, but if you run your finger along it, you don't feel any more burrs. See, that's this was a pretty bad off knife. That's why I used it to, as an example. And I don't feel any any rough. And the blade is getting a little bit sharp. Now, as you'll notice, you can still see a little bit, but. Now, scraping the blade across the whole stone like that has two effects. First, it helps keep the blade even, because you want the angle to be consistent across the whole thing. And the second thing is, it, it makes the wear on the stone even. You want to keep this for a while. They are cheap. Really, it's just sand. With glue, I think. Something. Anyway. But, you want to keep this as long as possible, because, you know, we're cheap. And you want to keep the wear on it as even as possible. So, by doing this, by dragging across the whole thing, it, it drags off a bit of sand. Now you are going to notice that your fingers are going to start to get dirty with this gray sort of silvery film. That's a mixture of the sand and the steel from the knife that's coming off. So just slow, even strokes. You know, you don't have to get, you know, the flash involved. On the downstroke, you want to apply pressure. Yeah, it's getting there. Now, like I said, this is bad. This knife was pretty bad off, but it's getting there. You want to keep it on that right angle, not the right angle, the correct angle, and slowly drag the whole of the blade across the stone. There you go. Anyway, so you don't want to sit here and do, watch me do this all day. So when you get the blade so that it's where you like it, where everything's all fun and dan, fun and games, that means the structural part is done. And from here, you want to do the actual sharpening. Now this is where we flip it over to the smooth edge, and we do the same thing. Slowly and methodically, at the same angle. Now on this side though, oh, it's already getting a little sharp. On this side, I like to do something a little different. What I'll do is I'll count down from 10. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, but then I flip it over and I do the same. One, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Then I give it a feel. Okay? should stay smooth this way. It shouldn't be picking up anything. It should be smooth as buck. And then you feel along the edge of the blade. Basically, I keep counting down, do the counting down to 10. 
10, 9, like that, back and forth, 10, 9, 10, 10, until the blade is as sharp as I can get it. That's either as far as my nerves go or as far as the blade goes. <laughs> okay, um, so this was a quick tutorial on how to sharpen knives. Uh, don't forget, oh, check out the links below. I got like a bunch of social media stuff, Pinterest and uh, Twitter and whatnot. Uh, check those links out. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, show me some love and throw me a like. And thanks for watching. You guys are great. Peace.